Um, how you doing? Um, this message is for Miss Teresa Rose. Um, I made this video to give you some some insight on what's been going on um, in this world um, dealing with racism. Why the tension is so heavy? Um, it goes way back from the biblical days when um, when um, Adam, you know, um, and Eve, you know, bit the fruit. Uh, from the tree of good and evil. So um, the devil was sent out to make war on God, on God, um, children. Um, this is a spiritual attack, a spiritual thing. And um, in fact, the kitchen grows when um, when God have turned back to his children, when God um, friend the peoples from slavery. I mean, this thing go way back. Um, Satan is the same, same spirit. You know, um, he's never changed his tactics. It's the same from the biblical days um, all the way to, you know, um, to our generation. You know, uh, the same things have been going on. You know, um, for example, um, the same things that we going through, dealing with the police, um, retaliation with the police, and and things like that. You know, um, they the police targeting you know um, young black men and you know um, killing them. You know, it's it goes back to Moses when God sent Moses to to free the people from, from, from bondage. And the people was in slavery because of that disobedience to God. So it's judgment on the land. So God has turned favor back to his children. So dealing with Moses, um, say knew, excuse me, um, say knew that, that, um, the children was going to get free, so the Egyptians, he chose the Egyptians to put them in slavery, okay, so a Pharaoh was their master, and they was in, and they was in slavery by Pharaoh, so when Moses came to Pharaoh and told him that his God saved free his people, he took it out on the on the peoples. Pharaoh took it out on the peoples, and pretty much the same thing, guys. You know, um, you know, uh, they pretty much killed a lot of peoples. You know, um, they made a lot of people work, and uh, for 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 minimum wage, and and they didn't get the correct pay that they you know um, was getting because they was getting free, and he would beat them. He would do all kinds of things to the children to to to, um, to distract them, intimidate them, and um, hold them back and hold them down. And God had to God had to pretty much you know um, go through a lot you know um, harden his heart and you know go through a lot you know um, and things like that. So the same thing that happened. Um, with Moses and the children of Israel dealing with slavery, dealing with being trying to trying to free and dealing with the hardening of heart. The same thing happened to Harriet Tubman. The 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 stops and the blocks with Harriet Tubman. The same things. The killing of the slaves when she tried to free the slaves from the under on the, on the railroad, you know. Um the same things that happened to the civil rights uh, movement with Martin Luther King. The same things that happened to the boycott. You know, they will, the, the police will pretty much, which is the government, will pretty much hold them down, kill them, intimidate them, um, will, will stop them from working, kick them out of their house if they come against the government. See, the government was was the government was the ones that had them in slavery. The governments was the ones 
that was Pharaoh that owned Egypt. And the government that was holding the, the civil rights movement had a covenant and the boycott. See, it's the same cycle, the same things, guys. We're dealing with the same things. So if the tension is so heavy, and God to do something wonderful happen, happening within the spiritual world with freeing other slaves. See, we're getting freed right now. And Satan is trying to hold us back, intimidate us, stop and block us. See, it's one thing I wanted to let you guys know. That 1001, take another life. You know, God gave you your life. Satan cannot take your life. Another human being cannot take your life. Your life is, was given to, from God. And everyone have a beginning and everyone have an end. So it's God who chose how someone would die just to bring like a mirror reflect, reflection. I like to say mirror reflection because people can see their actions and how and where their hearts at and their hearts is not with God. So people would get the truth. Now to make you guys feel real comfortable and this is the truth. This body is earthly, it's flesh. This body is flesh and earthly. And the spirit is within. And the earthly, this this flesh right here is just a temple that that holds our our own spirits. When God calls you, your spirit go up, and your flesh stay down and get buried underground and decay. So no way would God let His children suffer. Now we all have spiritual hopes. That angel would be already stand, standing up over that person, ready to receive that person's spirit and bring that person up with them. So it's no, it's no pain. It's no pain to that person. That's just um, Satan, you know, on way of just, you know, scan the peoples and, and things like that, you know. Um, I really just wanted to point that out to make a lot of people feel comfortable um, because um, life cannot be taken. So um, I really just wanted to point that out, guys, and um, let people see the hearts of peoples. And what's going on with this world? Everyone needs to bring themselves back to God, and that's the problem. This world is not with God. This world is not no way with God, and you cannot do evil, pay evil for evil. You cannot do evil. See, the devil wants everyone to turn their hearts, uh, make their hearts cold as the next person, as the oppressors. And um, I really want to point that out, guys, that with this being said and this and things happening inside the world, it's something wonderful happening, and it's a distraction going on. And Satan's whole plan is to start this, um, start this big time um, race war. And this race war would be his apocalypse. So this is the moment to turn back to God and be all we can be. And do not turn our hearts the same way to where our oppressor's hearts is at. You know, Dr. Martin Luther King stressed that a lot because it was, you know, he had a lot of black revolutionaries and a lot of um, and a lot of Muslims wanted to fight, wanted to grab guns, 
and Martin Luther King was telling them this is a spiritual war. See, it was it was Martin Luther King that led the march, and he led a peaceful march, and the march had to be peaceful because he was a man of God, and God sent him to to free the people of, of free the people from the bondage and take a, and take them to their resting from segregation. But the whole world was in chaos. The whole world didn't understand because they wasn't walking with God fully. You know, some people, they think that just because they um, pretty much go to church that their hearts is right with God. You have to walk to walk and you cannot out the way. You cannot let, you cannot leave a door open for Satan. You cannot dislike another human being because of what that uh, what their ancestors are, what they are doing. You cannot harden your heart to hate another person. Then you are just like that person. If you turn your heart to 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 where that person heart at, then you became that person. Then you are that person. So I just really wanted to to give to to give that out, and you know it's you know um, I have a lot of things that God showed me. Um, I wouldn't mind sharing it with you guys. Um, I love you guys, and um, I really want to see our peoples, which is everyone. Um, doing something positive and staying on the positive note and really giving a hundred and ten percent and really being positive peers. You know, I could point out a lot of things um, that's that's wrong and that you know a lot of people are doing by their actions and they're not being one hundred percent in that character. You know, it's like a a good and evil when Adam when Adam and Eve bit the apple they bit the apple of good and evil and good and evil mean good and evil mean good then had then had good and evil that's why human beings cannot be perfect we have to sin because of the tree of good and evil and when Eve said when Eve told the serpent the serpent told Eve you know what um to bite this fruit, and sh and she told, and he told the serpent, no, God said we would surely die, surely die meaning spiritual, spiritual, we, we will go through a spiritual death, not being connected with God, our, our connection with God would be off, and he said, the serpent told Eve, no, you won't die. You will be like God, knowing good and evil. The definition of knowing is being one. It's being intimate, knowing that person. So when she bit the fruit of good and evil, it was a trick because the serpent was cunning and baffling and powerful. So we would know God, meaning him. We would know him. We will take off his curse. We will become one with the serpent, which is the devil. We will know his good and his evil. Not being able to walk correctly or straight with God. We will be cunning. We wouldn't be able to, to be 100% positive peers as we, you know, want to be. It will be a message that we send out will be always twisted. It will start off good, but it will have a negative meaning or a negative message within that positive note. And everyone do it. Everyone. I've been there. Because no human being is perfect. You got to receive the truth, the true spirit, the spirit of God to even be truthful. See, it's, it's, it's a fake love, it's a fake love, and it's a 
And it's a true love. And the only way to get that true love is to be real with God. So, um, if you don't understand, I'll, I can break it down um, for you more. You know, it's it's a lot of things going on, and um, it's time to turn back to God. You know, trying to turn our hearts back to God. You know, it's time to turn our hearts truly back to God. I love you guys. I love you guys. Love you guys.